what will be your next thought? Yeah, we have no idea what our next thought will be. And yet we often were, imagine that we are our thoughts. Or that we choose what to think, what we think. But we're not. We're not choosing what we think. The thoughts just arrive, just show up in the space. So we're not the thoughts. We're not the thinker. If we were the thinker, we would know what we were going to think next. We would have some mechanism by which we would make thoughts. So what is it that sees the thoughts? What is it that hears the thoughts? What is the what is the space in which the thoughts arise? You know, we might call that space of awareness or consciousness. But again, we really don't know. And strangely, we've never, never known, and we never need to know. We can just let thoughts show up as they do. In fact, there's no alternative. You know, some people think that uh, there are bad thoughts or thoughts that you shouldn't have and that uh, we should worry if we start having certain kinds of thoughts. The thoughts themselves have no substance at all. When we just see the thoughts, you know, whatever thought it is, I am bad, uh, this is going badly, I'm the worst. Everybody hates me. You know, whatever thoughts we have, they're just thoughts. And often we, uh, we imagine that thoughts have some great significance. That the thoughts that arrive are the truth revealing the truth to us.
and yet the truth can never be captured by thoughts. The truth is not a thought, it's not an idea, it's beyond concepts. This is not a thing. There's nothing to contrast this with this non-dual space. But even to, suggest, to use that word suggests contrast, suggests there's such a thing as a dual space, or that when we call this a space, it could be something else not a space or so this is not non-dual space either it's neither dual nor non-dual 